the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at, at the hold itself. And we're going to start with, this, with a standing chancery. So, uh, standing chancery is effectively a chancery where we're both facing each other and both of us are stood upright. It's, it's a single handed chancery. And what we do is we take one hand and throw it behind the neck. And we put a little bit of weight, and we're pulling down on that, and our elbow is fairly central, pushing into the sternum there. Now, if I don't pull down, he's just going to stand straight up out of this. And at that point, I'm not really doing anything. So I've got to get a bit of weight. Okay? But if I just pull down, he's going to come towards me. And, and the chancery hold doesn't do me any focus. So what I've got to do is, with, with one hand, I have to secure his position. So we're going to pull down the bit of body weight, but we're going to push him around like that. So that if he tries to come forwards, we've got that elbow to prevent him. If he tries to go backwards or up, we've got our body weight here. And what you can see straight away is from this position, this hand and this face are very, very close together. And we like that a lot. Uh, we're keeping our elbow tucked in. What we don't want is for this hand to come out because we still have to protect against this one. If this hand is doing something, we need to be aware of it. This hand is taken out of the equation mainly. This, he can have a bit of a dig at the, at the, of the ribs at the side or at my upper arm. He's not going to do any damage there. But what we've got is his face. And we can put in a couple of nice strokes to that face. So what I want to do, I want you to partner up. I want you to just get used to getting this, this on. Hook this round. And pull down and drive your elbow in. And the, the person that's in chancery, either try and stand out of it or try and push forwards. Right? And you should be able to move people around quite easily with your elbow in the sternum. If this elbow comes too far across this way, what will happen is you'll push and they come straight out of it. So you've got to keep that in quite tight. So, partner up, practice again, both hands. As Mendoza says, we have to be masters of the equilibrium of our bodies. We need to be able to do everything either way around. So practice at both sides. And make sure you both get a have a go. And really, really try and work it. This, this is a fairly secure hold. It's not brilliantly secure, but it's secure enough that they're not going to move the head out of the way while you punch it a few times. Okay?